Yo, what's up guys? This is Void and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be playing some more Grand Emprise, which is a time travel survival base builder game. Um, we're going to continue from where we last left off. We just uh, finished up with the Dinosaur Age, so I'm, I'm not sure if we're in the Primitive Age right now. But yeah, uh, without, infinite, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Let's go. So uh, yeah, we left Alex behind in the last episode. So we're just going to continue on from, from here on out. So I'm assuming that we need to follow this light. So I've changed some of the settings from from the last time I played. I, I flowed some of the some of the shadows and everything because my computer is not all that powerful, but yeah, it's it's running much smoother right now. Let the lights leave me. I just want to take a take a look around. So this looks like some ancient civilization. I mean, this looks really good, though. So right now, I'm just exploring, just taking in the views. Alright, so let, let's head down here. That looks pretty weird though. That that does look pretty <laughs> That looks like it came from someone's garden or something. I mean, look at that. That's a very weird skybox. I mean, even even that looks pretty weird. So I'm not sure if if this is going to be in the main game, if it's going to look like that in the main game. Because it's, it's one thing to have a skybox, but you need to use a skybox that actually fits, don't you think? Like, how does that, how does that fit into this at all? Yeah. 
checkpoint over there. Right, so I'm just digressing. Uh, let's just keep following the lights over here. Why does this look more like a monk's temple or something? So I'm assuming we're going all the way over there. I'm hoping that noise that I'm hearing is the wind. Right. And uh, we're still going. I mean, I just want to take the time and explore these places. Not that there most probably is a lot. So this area obviously came, uh, broke off. Just imagine these large bricks, or let's not imagine it, but if if you were underneath this when it caved, when it, like, not caved in, but when it, you know, fell in, I'm pretty sure you would have had very serious head injuries, or you would have been dead. So I'm not a Well, this place doesn't seem very stable anymore. Don't you think? I mean, how does this even look stable? How does that look stable? That doesn't look very stable to me. I mean, that can so easily fall in. Is this how they build stuff in the ancient times? Like this I can understand. Like this this wall I can understand. But not this. This doesn't make any sense to me. This just looks like an accident waiting to happen. Well I'm assuming that I need to go through here because the light just left me. The light's gone. There the light is. One needs to wonder how these fires are still building, uh, burning. So this is where we started. 
So we just went in one big old loop to loop. The time, the time travel device has been fully charged and repaired. Use it to travel to the next area. Okay. Uh, well, was that it? Is it gonna like cut out now or something? I can't remember how you use it. Equip and hold right click. But that's what I'm doing. I'm holding right click, but then this window pops up. Excuse me. Like I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Do I need to put it like over here? Oh, I thought <laughs> uh, I'm such a dummy. I thought this was the dinosaur. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. All right. I thought I thought that was like a quick wheel or something. All right. All right. Okay. I get it. I'm a dummy. Alright, so now we are in the primitive era. Um, so it says, new unlocks useful for this era. Open the tech tree to see what to do next. Hold tab to access the build menu. If you didn't like the way the dash and sprint controls work so far, you can enable a alternative method in the settings. I've already changed that. Technology mysterious template, temple complete. All right. Well, this is very bright. This is very bright. Can I? Because this was on a hundred, so I'm just gonna lower it down to ninety. It's just very bright. All right. So, what is our objectives this time? So, obviously now we get a bit of, a little bit more of a, speed, a sneak peek of the next uh, eras, which is the colonial eras, the industrial, the modern, and then the futuristic. So, obviously these four eras are only available in the full game. So in the dinosaur era, there's not a lot that you can do. But when you get to this era, there's way more that you can do. So, yeah. So let's start off with mining rocks. I'm assuming we mine this. Yes. Alright, that was pretty weird.
Okay, so now we mined rocks, so now we can punch some trees to get some wood. That's not what I wanted to do. So Q, I remember no Q is to put things away. Some berries, just get our uh, get our food back up. Open the tech tree to see what to do next. Alright, so we've done logs. Now we need to get fibers. I'm assuming it's this. Stone crafting table. The stone age is upon us. Hold tab for the build menu and then left click to select the stone crafting table and build it. Alright, so now we are getting into building things. So I'm going to put my spot right above here, I think. Should be more than fine. Should be fine. Construct with a rock. Okay. So we did that. Now craft yourself a mighty spear, a pickaxe and a hatchet. So what do I like? Oh, access craft. Okay. So we need six rocks, ten logs, and fifteen fibers for a pickaxe. Construct the rock. Okay, and we've got a pickaxe. Now let's make a hatchet. Now let's make a stone spear. We need some logs. Right, so now we've got some tools. So let's cut down some trees. I just don't know if there are any. Okay, so that is a hippo. I don't want to go there just yet. So I got three rocks out of that. Three rocks. Three rocks. So right now I want to focus on getting myself a spear so I can actually defend myself. This is this 
interface is honestly something to get used to. Somehow, for some reason, I can't break these rocks. Which is just, which is just weird. Anyway, let's get some plant fibers. Now we can build ourselves a spear. Find a caveman camp, then kill or be killed. Well, that's very, that's very positive. Be killed. <laughs> Hunt some animals and use a stone hatchet to harvest their meat. This technology is not just scum. Okay, so campfires. I don't know if you're going to need a torch just yet. Um, so now we got a spear. So, if so far it doesn't look like your tools break as you use them. I don't want to fight an uh, uh, elephant. keep pressing J for some reason. I don't know why, but I keep doing it. I, I can't believe you get so little rock out of that. So the physics is a bit janky in this game. It is still a early access. Oh, well, not early access, but it's, it is still a demo, though. Alright. So, right now, I, need to, I think we need to focus on trying to see if we can hunt some animals. That is an elephant. I'm pretty... Um, I'm assuming that an elephant's not going to be very easy to kill. So I'm looking for a much smaller animal. Even a hippo isn't going to be that easy to kill. I did see a smaller animal over yonder. So I'm just going to head over this way. It's a good thing to see that you can sprint quite far though, or sp sprint for long periods. Well, that is a crocodile. Let's see. Well, I'm not going to win this fight. I wonder if they do lose aggro. It 
it seems like they do. At least. Well, I am at 100% health. I'm gonna take this fucking crocodile down. I'm gonna go for it. Alright, I better go. I better run. I better run. Let's try this again. Why is it running that side now? It's coming back. Yeah, you better run. It's running away. Well, okay then. Well, th this is pretty annoying. Get over here. I'm not done with you. Got it. So at least the elephants and the other animals don't seem to be a aggressive. But at least we completed that objective. So now we should be able to make a campfire. Cook raw animal meat for better food. Can't live forever on berries, or can we? Let's see how strong these foxes are. Alright, so straight off the bat, the, 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 the combat is very janky in this game. Uh, I'm not going to chase after that fox. Combat's very janky still a lot of improvements that they that they can do to make this a lot better all right so uh, let's uh, build a campfire Over there. Construct with a pickaxe. So it seems like you can put six slices of meat on one go. Uh, let's just wait for that to cook. And I don't know if there's going to be any like signal or something to tell you when it's ready. Uh, while that's cooking, let's see if we can get some more rocks. I saw, because you can't mine this. The dodging in this game is so weird, man. I think one more should do it. So you can't even catch on fire when you stand in the in the in the in the pit. So 
So let's make that. Now we have a torch as well. I don't know how we're going to light the torch. Wood cutting table. We need some more logs. Right. Okay, so the meat's ready. Let's consume meat. first then put the other tools that I use more often and then the foods I think I can store the berries away for now uh, let's get some more meat cook uh, some more meat going so obviously I'm assuming that you need to equip the meat unless Okay, so, so you can't cook, uh, you can't cook dinosaur meat, that's noted. I'm feeling like fighting this hippo right now. Let's see. So it's not aggressive. But now it's going to be aggressive. Alright, I might die here. Let me see if I can get away from this thing. Wow, it's uh, pretty powerful. Uh, note yourself, do not fight a hippo. So if a hippo is that tough, I'm pretty sure that the elephant's going to be way tougher. I almost jumped. The only thing with these foxes is that you, you, you struggle to kill them because they don't they don't stand still look at that so I might just as well fight another crocodile because they were much easier to kill Wow, I just almost died because I got stuck. I did it. Killed another one. Is 
So let's get that cooking. Uh, where is the hippo that I attacked? I think it despawned. Alright, so one of our objectives is to find a caveman camp, then kill or be killed. So I'm not sure exactly where am I going to find a caveman camp. I'm assuming it's going to be close to one of the mountains, so I'm just going to head over to this mountain over yonder. So far, um, the previous stages were very beautiful, but then you get to this and something just just feels a little off about it. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to find the caveman camp. But I'm assuming it's going to be close to mountains because, I mean, it's mountains and cavemen. But this might just be a perilous journey. So good to know that we can scale mountains at least. Which is like every single Unity game. So that's a pretty weird effect on the water. But right now... Oh, I'm falling. Also good to know that there's no fall damage. I don't know if that was intentional. So it's not a very big island. Um, okay, there is fall damage. Alright, so, at this point, I don't know, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't really know what to do. I almost died there. That's another crocodile. You know what, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's another crocodile. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Teaming up against me. So that's another crocodile down. And I'm I'm going to kill this one as well just to get the meat. You wanted to gang up on me, huh? You and your buddy. Your buddy is dead. Oh, 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 oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm dead. Wow. Okay. One thing that's really annoying is, is the way that they just camp your body when you die.
Run! Will you run? Will you run? Just run, for fuck's sakes. Okay, can I take all my stuff? Now fuck you, crocodile. Get fucking wrecked. I'm getting wrecked. I'm getting wrecked again. Again. No, man. The, the, the combat is so janky in this game. Why, why am I doing so little damage? Like, did the spear break or something? No, it didn't. Get fucking wrecked, man. Try that again without with less suck this time. I just don't know where I'm gonna find the caveman. Like there's no pointers or any map or anything to show you exactly where you need to go. So I just need to walk around until I eventually come across a caveman camp. I didn't even realize I was that far out. Log required. What happened to my logs? Okay then. So let's get some more meat cooking. So it's, it's good to see that some of the resources do spawn back in though. Um. I'd just like to find this caveman camp right now. looks promising. That's just a rock. That's just rocks. So at least it would have been nice if they just showed you some pointers on on where it is that you need to go because I don't want to run around the whole map just to find a caveman camp. Just something, just something to point you in the right direction. 
Because how do I know I'm going in the right direction? How do I know that? I found it. The combat's pretty weird in this game. So I killed the caveman. Get over here. It's time for your death. Yeah, this game's weird. Honestly, I have no words. I do get bones. I do get bones. So that's the last, last caveman. Get direct, boy. I mean, our instinct immediately is to wreck the cavemen. Not even try and to communicate with them. Just go straight for them and wreck them. Makes sense. So I'm just going to head back to camp. Uh, we've completed the objectives. I'm hoping I'm going in the right direction. So this is where we're going to leave this episode guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. But anyway guys, I'm going to be out for now. Peace. See you in the next one.